I am here to do a taste test video for English foods. I have a friend, um, Catherine, she lives in Liverpool, United Kingdom, and we swap boxes. I'll put a link to her video in the description box below. She did one video so far for my giant box full of American exciting goodies and snacks. And this is my first bag of, I think, three that are on their way for English snacks. And you'll have to excuse the exciting Christmas pajamas because I just got it out of the mail and I just cannot wait to start it. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm about to open it up. Here it goes. This is the opening of the bag so far. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so first off, we have proper corn. Don't know what proper corn is supposed to be. I guess it's like bagged popcorn. I guess we'll find out. Oh, hi, Kylan. I hope you enjoy your snacks. I look forward to your video. Love, Catherine. XOXO. Oh, I'm so excited. Isn't that just the cutest card in the whole world? I love it. Yes, I am excited. Okay proper corn done properly sweet and salty I guess it's like popcorn I don't know made in Britain we definitely don't have this in America I've never heard of it and never seen it so I'll try a bite and see how it goes I don't know how I feel about sweet popcorn we'll find out it is sweet it tastes like caramel corn almost without like the caramel. I don't know how I feel about it. It's not bad. It doesn't feel like fresh popcorn that's just popped in the microwave though. I don't know. It's okay. <laughs> if I had to rate this one out of 10, I'd say it's like a five. It's not bad. I'll finish the bag, but it's not like amazing. Like I'd go spend all my money on it regularly. Okay. Next is Quavers never heard of a quaver another one that is definitely not an american food quavers is a light curly potato snack cheese flavor made by walkers whoever they are i love the yellow bag but i don't know anything that's cheese you can't go wrong so hopefully they'll be good i don't know how i feel about a cheese potato snack i have no idea what to expect oh cute I don't know what they look like. They look like this little like, I don't know. They look like pork rinds. Like that puffy, airy kind of. They're supposed to be like cheesy. We'll see. That's good. I don't know what the heck this thing is. Whatever quaver is, but it's good. I'm definitely gonna finish these off. I don't know how to describe it. Like it has the consistency of a pork rind where it's like light and puffy but not really like the consistency of a Cheeto. I don't know, you can't see the cheese. Like in America, cheesy items are hot yellow or hot orange, like Cheetos and they get all over your fingers. She so had like flesh scent orange all over the place. I don't know where all the yellow went in these things to make it cheese flavor. That's good. I'm very happy with Quavers. Never heard of them, never seen them in my life. That is some good stuff. I love these. I'll give these a 9 out of 10 because I'm reserving that 10 spot for something that just like blows me away. That's good. Next is, ooh, <laughs> she sent me two thingies of flavors. That was smart because those are definitely going to work with me tomorrow for my lunch break. Okay, next is a big pouch of like saran wrap items all wrapped together. All right, so there is Golden Eggs, Oasis, Mighty Drops, Mixed Berry, and something in a red bag. I can't tell what the red one is, but oh well. Okay. First off, I'm gonna set the drops to the side. We have drops, but we don't have anything called Oasis in America, so I'll definitely be trying that next. But this is a galaxy golden egg galaxy chocolate with crunchy caramel rolled in gold i'm guessing that these are going to be good i don't know what a crunchy caramel is i don't think we have any crunchy caramel items in america and i don't know what galaxy chocolate is we don't have that either but i love the package so we'll see oh cute 
Okay, they are gold. They are so gold. Like, there's nothing in America this gold. I wish Americans would come up with some gold food because it'd probably do pretty well. We love our colorful, fake color flavor things. Okay, so this is a galaxy golden egg. It's shaped just like an egg, like one of those little like Cadbury egg things. It's thick and solid. I feel the crunchies. Is it crunchy caramel? I have no idea if that's crunchy caramel. It's crunchy something. That's good. It's like solid chocolate. Like a solid M&M or something. I don't know. That's good. I like these. I don't know what the gold is. Like, why is it gold? It says rolled in gold. Gold what? Like gold colored candy shell coating or something? I don't know. That's good. That's also a 9 out of 10. Anything chocolate, I'm good with. I don't know what it reminds me of. It reminds me of those Cadbury eggs. They're like solid chocolate. That's good. Okay. Another 9 out of 10. Alright guys. Next on the list is Maltesers. And the impression I get is that they're like a malted milk ball. Like a Whopper. So I'm hoping they're just like a Whopper. Because I love Whoppers. Everybody does. And we definitely don't have Malteaters in the States. I have a feeling that I've seen this packaging before. Like they may sell it at like World Market. Or something like that I'm certain I've seen this bag from somewhere but I know I've never tried one so I'm hoping it's like a Whopper yeah Maltesers oh I cute and the bag on the back you can reseal it so you can roll it down and tape it back closed oh, sorry one random little exciting tidbit there okay so it rips right open and here we go with a Malteser Looks like a Whopper. The lighter way to enjoy chocolate. Okay, little Whopper ball. That's a Whopper. Yeah, tastes exactly like a Whopper. Nothing different. Not better, not worse. It's a Whopper. And I love Whoppers, so I'll give it like a seven just because it's good, but it's not like different and exciting like those golden egg things are but we're good small teachers definitely recommend the english version of whopper so if you're english and you come to america and you're like oh, i miss my small teasers grab a thing of whoppers same thing very very good okay <clears throat> next is my little science experiment over here with the oasis mighty drops and mixed berry and I had to get out my handy dandy measuring cup because it's in milliliters and I don't know what a milliliter is so I had to check my measuring cup and it's got like cups and quarts and milliliters so I'm gonna have to measure this I don't know what it's supposed to be I got my handy dandy cup I tried to grab one that was clear and see-through so you can see what it looks like tab very exciting okay so this says that you're supposed to use two milliliters I guess a droppy thingy uh, in 250 milliliters of water. So grabbing 250 milliliters of water, do it to about there. So I guess it's like a half a cup. Okay, 250 milliliters of water. I'm just gonna pour it in the cup. Okay, so that's almost a glass. That's like a half glass. That's not bad. Okay, and here goes the Oasis mixed berry drops so i'm wondering if mixed berry is like fruit punch kind of i don't know i don't know if we have mixed berry type drinks like this over here we might and i've just never bought them so you just undo it and the american ones you just do like one or two drops per cup and it says um like about a half a teaspoon on the back that is strong like it smells like kool-aid powder when you first rip open the kool-aid powder bag and you're about to pour it into your thing and it's just that concentrated like <gasps> that's what it smells like just concentrated kool-aid powder but in liquid form if you're not American you probably don't know what the heck kool-aid powder smells like but you really only do it once when you're a kid you take the packet of kool-aid 
you get that one whip and you never do it again the rest of your life. That's kind of what this smells like. So I'm just gonna do like half a teaspoonish. Oh, okay, stronger than I thought. So I'm just gonna squirt like a good little bit because I don't want it to be like funky. Just gonna stir it up a little bit. I love the red. So maybe it's not, well, it still may be a fruit punch. I think some fruit punches are like a red color. So stirring it up and here goes. Need more squirty stuff. That's not bad at all. It tastes like it tastes like a melted popsicle. I think that's exactly what it tastes like when you make let a popsicle melt too much and you get like the drippings off of it. I don't know if you've ever had a melted popsicle. You get that like strong, I don't know. I don't know what the word is for it. Yeah, it tastes like a melted popsicle, but it's good. Like it doesn't taste like Kool-Aid, but it doesn't taste like Powerade or anything like that either. That's good though. It's not bad. So I'd give it like a 6.5 out of 10. Like it's not terrible, but I'll definitely finish the thingy off. Like I feel like I had to use a lot of squirt thingies, so I don't know if I use too much or not enough. I don't know what the heck a milliliter is, but that's good. I definitely recommend Oasis Mighty Drop things if you're the kind of person that just doesn't want to drink like regular plain water. It's not bad at all. I'll definitely finish this off. So overall, I definitely enjoyed all of my fantastic English snacks. And this was the bag number one that's coming in. Apparently there are two or three bags she had to divide it up into. So I'll be doing one or two more videos in the near future. I'm dying to get my packages and I'll post the videos as soon as I have them up because you'll know when I get them. I'll pretty much post it immediately. Uh, probably won't be in my fantastic Christmas pajamas, but we'll see how that goes. So yeah, I had proper corn. It wasn't bad. It was like popcorn. Quavers, these things are amazing. I love these thingies. I don't know how to describe them at all, but it's, yeah. If you like Cheetos, if you like that light puffy kind of material, they're great. And they don't even dye your fingers orange. It's amazing. Golden eggs, whatever the heck these are. Whoever invented the gold color on these things, I am definitely a fan. I will be finishing these off very quickly. Maltesers, little knockoff Whoppers. I don't know which one came first, the chicken or the egg. Maltesers or Whoppers, but it's the exact same thing. And then little Oasis Mighty Drops with the um, mixed berry. So you can see it's right here. So, and then my cute little note. Thank you so much for my note. So I will leave you guys with that. This was my very exciting box swap with an English girl. And um, again, I'll have her video linked in the box description below. She got mine like a week ago and she's gonna be separating mine into multiple videos as well because I sent her like a 10 pound box, just like chock full of so many American snacks. So definitely check out her video and her videos to come. I'm so excited, I cannot wait to watch her try all the American sweets because we have, apparently we get all the good flavors. We have more flavors than y'all do. We have more exotic, exciting things than y'all do. Not to brag or anything, I'm just saying that I sent her a lot and apparently she had never heard of half of it. So I'm very excited to see the rest of hers and I cannot wait to get her other bags in the mail. Hopefully they'll be coming soon. I'm just dying to get them. So here is all of my snacks and I will see you guys again soon. Leave a comment in the description box below, but I'll definitely tag Kate's videos. Um, like this video, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel. I hope to be doing more of these again in the near future. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Enjoy your night, have a good night. Um, thanks for watching, see you later, bye. Let me try one of these. Mmm, wow. Those are fantastic. Mmm. Come on, really? Quifers? Mmm. All right. Good eating right here. Thank you for the bag. I'm going to have this one. Send more. <laughs>